Hey everybody, Marcus Evans here with the Jazz Links. Hope you all are safe and well and in good spirits during this time. What I want to talk about today is one of my most favorite topics when it comes to playing this music on this instrument, and that is playing the beat. Playing the beat. Okay. Now, a lot of drummers, a lot of us, take a while to come into the maturity of understanding that keeping consistent time in a way that feels good will always be top priority. In other words, keeping it in the pocket will always be more important than our solos, our fills, and dropping bombs. So what I want to talk about today is playing the beat. First, I want to give you a brief history of where it comes from and then some ideas on how to approach it. Now, this beat has its roots in New Orleans, which historically is a place known for parades. When we talk about parade music, we're talking about marches, the music of John Philip Sousa and the like. Now, a march beat goes something like this. Now, a musician by the name of Buddy Bolden is credited with inventing this variation on the march. It's known as Big Four, which is when you put emphasis on beat four of every other measure of that march. And Big Four sounds something like this. So that feeling is where our beat comes from. And when we're playing this music, that feeling needs to be internalized no matter what tempo or tune we're playing. If it's a straight ahead tune that is swing based, that feeling of big four needs to be there. Now, while I'm still talking briefly about the history of the evolution of this beat, it, time used to be kept primarily on the snare drum and eventually move to the hi-hat like this and over time the ride symbol became the primary component component when playing this music and the ride symbol seal is the center of focus when we're playing this music like this with the same emphasis on big four Now playing big four helps us to phrase, it helps us to play with space, it helps us to be able to listen to who we're playing with, and it keeps us perpetuating that feeling, that groove. So, playing the beat. First, when playing the ride cymbal, all jazz drummers have to be in love with playing the ride cymbal. The first thing I want to say is when you're playing your quarter notes, I like to put a slight emphasis on two and four. It makes the beat swing back and forth like this. And I'm still putting that emphasis on beat four. Beat four of every other measure.
another thing that needs to be happening while you're playing this beat is called feathering the bass drum. That's when you really lightly play quarter notes on the bass drum. It helps that pulse be felt. It helps the bass player have more of a bass presence. And it gives it gives your, your beat more of a bounce. So here are just quarter notes. Slight emphasis on two and four, two and four on the hi-hat, and the internalized feeling of big four. Now here's the whole cymbal pattern with the emphasis on big four, beat four of every other bar. So, so far, what we've covered is that we need to emphasize big four, which is beat four of every other measure. Feather the bass drum. Play your chord notes on the bass drum very lightly while you're playing time. Two and four on the hi-hat. And always dance. Always bounce. A lot of us have accumulated some tricks and vocabulary make sure you can play them within the context of that bounce. So what I'm going to do to close out this brief lesson is just play some time with the big four, with that feeling, and just see what, what that's like. Okay. Here we go. I hope that helps. I hope that helps you to enjoy playing this beat and to make this beat more enjoyable for your bandmates and for your audiences. So do all your cool stuff and make sure you can dance while you're doing it.